This video will save you hours and hours of research time about which no-code tool to use for your project. I'll talk through the three essential no-code tools and our favorite tool in each category and why sometimes it's better to just get started. Best place to start really for any no coder is to look at your back end. You can use something as simple as Google Sheets, though it does lack a lot of the relational database type elements that the likes of an Airtable would have. Or you can get a little bit more complex and use something like Xano or Ninox. They both have steeper learning curves, but there is a huge amount of functionality and features in both of those tools. I use Airtable for all of my projects. I use it to automate processes within my existing businesses, and I also use it as the back end or database for any side hustle or projects that I'm building. The reason I use Airtable is that it is the right blend between ease of use. It's almost like a customized software that you can build for your business. And this is now the foundation of your actual web app or the digital version of the business that you currently run you will find that when you start to use Airtable and when it clicks you start to think oh we maybe don't need that piece of software any longer because we can just build it in Airtable or we could probably do this process in a slightly different way because Airtable can systemize it automate it and make it much more efficient for that reason Airtable definitely has our vote for the win of the no code backend tool to use if I could give myself one piece of advice start with Airtable become very adept user in Airtable because it will form the foundation of the rest of your no code ecosystem. In terms of pricing on Airtable, there is a free version available and it is quite good. There's quite a lot of functionality in it. However, we definitely think it's worth splashing out for the pro plan, which works out at $20 per month on the basis that it allows you to have all of the automations functionality, which are a very powerful feature inside of Airtable. The next thing you're probably going to want to do as a no-coder is integrate your Airtable with all of your other softwares or all of the other tools that you might already be using. For example, you might be using a cloud accountancy software. You might want to integrate your Airtable base with that. You might be using Google Suite and you might want to just interact between Airtable and your Google Suite account. And I suppose when you start learning Airtable, you start just try to think of how can I make everything tie up and work uh, seamlessly through this one ecosystem so that everything is integrated and everything works together. And when you update one piece of information in one place, it's automatically updated across all of your systems. There are two main players in the integration and automation space, one being Zapier and the other being Integromat. I like both of these tools. I've used both of them quite, quite extensively. I probably recommend Zapier to beginners who are just starting out as no coders, but what you'll probably find is as you get more and more into no code and you start building out more and more projects, you're going to have more and more tasks that are needed and you're going to quite quickly hit the price ceiling in Zapier and it's going to move you up quite quickly through the pricing plans, which can start to get a little bit expensive. And that's where Integromat really has the upper hand is on the pricing side of things for as little as 10 euro a month. You can run nearly everything you would need in terms of tasks and operational requirements. The only thing about Integromat is it may be a little bit more daunting. There's a little bit more of a learning curve there, but as you get more and more into this no code ecosystem and as you become familiar with the key concepts, things that are traditionally coder type concepts, such as APIs. You'll start to understand more how Integromat works and why it's beneficial and why it's really um, a great option. Both options, Zapier and Integromat, they both integrate with pretty much every no-code tool that is a, a successful no-code tool out there in the world today. The reason I'm giving Integromat the vote is because it's the one that I found myself going back to more and more. The third no-code tool that every no-coder will need in some shape or form is a front end or a face. There's a lot of choice in this area in the no-code system. You've got the likes of Glide, which this year has released a native web app type product product, which really looks exciting. There's also the likes of Adalo, which is really good for building native mobile apps. So if you want to release an app onto the Apple or Android store, you're probably looking at the likes of an Adalo. It's very user-friendly. Again, it's a visual drag and drop builder. Then there is Bubble, which is a whole topic in and of itself. It's a very complex, very comprehensive app builder. It can build out pretty much anything that you can think of. But I suppose what we're looking at here is, well, where do you start when you might be looking to build out quite a few different ideas? You're not sure yet which idea you want to commit all of your time to, and you're not sure which idea you maybe want to put more of your financial resources into. And you're really just experimenting, playing and building in the meantime. And that's where I've landed on Softer. Softer is a fantastic tool 
for quickly building really nice looking web apps, web pages and user interfaces. What I love about software is its ease of use is everything is in pre-configured blocks that you simply move around in a visual drag and drop developer and place it on the page. Everything is pre-configured and pre-formatted in quite a nice looking standard, though there are quite a lot of customization options if you do wish to give your interface, your web app, your web page, a custom look and feel. It also integrates directly with Airtable, so there is no need for a Zapier or an Integromat if you're looking to just move directly to building a web page or a web app from your Airtable base. Software allows an unlimited number of applications under any of their pricing plans, including the free tier. So you can create a software web app on top of your Airtable base and you can then open it up to end users who can then edit and interact with just the parts of your Airtable data that you want your users to be able to see through your web app or to be able to edit through your web app. So it's really an amazing piece of technology and from its inception in 2020, it has grown rapidly. There's a, a great community around it in Slack where if you ever do run into problems, I do obviously quite a lot of tutorials on this channel surrounding software, Integromat and Airtable. My recommendation to you is start with Airtable. Don't start with anything else. Just start with Airtable, start learning it, start building out your process, start using it as a tool in your day to day. Next, when you do want to start linking in other tools in your ecosystem, move on to Integromat. And finally, when you're actually launching or when you're building a web app or an actual customer facing or end user facing tool, that's when you jump at software and connect that onto your ecosystem. You can then build out unlimited number of projects using those three tools, all the while keeping your no code software budget yourself that you're spending out to a very manageable level. So if you got any value from today's video, I'd really appreciate if you would like the video and if you would subscribe to the channel, it really helps me and my channel continue to grow on YouTube. You'll probably like some of my tutorials like this one, which shows you how to use those three tools in the best way possible. And I'm continuously updating those tutorials. So please do subscribe to the channel again thanks for watching and i hope you got some value from today's video